Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to show you how to create Hangouts compatible GIFs from the videos that you've shot with your Nexus 5. Now that Hangouts is Android's default messenger app, it's given us a lot of cool new features. One feature that it lacks though, at least at the moment, is the ability to send videos. You can, however, send animated images through Hangouts, so today we're going to learn how to do just that. There are several different apps that can create animated GIFs on Android, but most aren't without deal-breaking flaws. Some make GIFs only if you've shot the original video from within their app. Others end up with distorted GIFs once you've sent them via Hangouts. This app, video to gif on the other hand, offers a simple yet robust interface that lets you shoot videos through your normal camera app and then convert them to Hangouts-ready GIFs. So for download links, as well as a full tutorial, head on over to the link in the description right below this video. And once you've got the app installed, let's open it up and check it out. The first thing you'll want to do here is load a video. Do that by tapping this button then using this file browser to select a clip you've already filmed. These thumbnails show the starting and ending points of your GIF, and you can use the sliders below them to change that point. Move the top slider to change the starting point to wherever you prefer, then use this slider down here to change where the GIF will end. A pretty simple interface to clip the video, really. Then if you hit this settings button up here, you can change things like frame rate by moving this top slider. This second slider is for the speed of the GIF relative to the initial video. Quality is this next slider, which by default is set to 50. 100% would be 1080p quality, and Hangouts GIFs don't really need that high of a resolution, so we'll slide this down to something more reasonable. Under Repetition, you can change the amount of times that the GIF will repeat before stopping. If you keep it all the way to the left, it will repeat continuously. Then you can tick this box if you want the video to flip playback when it finishes, and you can tick this other box to reverse the entire playback. Or you can tick both options. This last entry is to adjust the size of the GIF relative to the source video, and moving it right makes the GIF smaller, while moving it left makes it larger. So when you're ready, you just tap Create GIF and let it do its thing. This process can take anywhere from a few seconds to 15 minutes, depending on the length of the GIF and the quality that you chose. Like I said, GIFs don't need to be as high quality as the 1080p video that your Nexus 5 records, so I'd recommend keeping the quality slider down below 50% to speed this part up a bit. Once you arrive at this screen, you'll know that the GIF has been created. The built-in file browser that it has doesn't always load the GIF, but that's not what we need anyway. Just head into the Hangouts thread that you'd like to send a GIF through, then tap the camera icon and hit Attach Photo. Tap the GIF we just created, and hit Send. So now you're all ready to share animated GIFs with your friends over Google Hangouts. And again, for a more complete guide, be sure to hit the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.